This segment is sponsored by the Master Manifestors Academy. Well, welcome back, everybody. Have you ever wondered how you can attract more of what you want in your life? How you can change your desires, aspiration, goals into reality? I'm sure a lot of us have thought about that. Well, joining me right now and talking about that, and I'm talking with manifestation and money mindset coach, best-selling author and founder of Manista, Manifest Your Yes Coaching, Jerrica Glasper. Jerrica, thank you for joining me this morning. It's an honor to have you here. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited to be diving into this topic today on practicing the art of manifestation, how to attract anything that you really want into your life. So ready to dive in when you're ready. Well, I am ready and let's start with manifestation first. When we talk about that, what, what do we mean? Yeah, so manifesting is the natural ability that we all have to use our thoughts and our feelings and the power of that to be able to materialize our goals and our desires into our physical reality. A lot of that sounds like positive thinking. Is that part of it just thinking positive yes yeah, so a lot of it does have to do with positive psychology but then even on a science-based level um, there are studies that show when mm -hmm. we think about something and we we positively um, see ourselves achieving that goal that science shows that you can actually have those reactions within your body so a lot of high level athletes practice visualizations and practice going in their mind first and seeing themselves achieve, you know, the jump shot. They see themselves passing the finish line. And mm. when we activate that part of our mind in imagination first, then our body follows, then our, our experiences follow. That's very interesting because you say that we all we all have the natural ability to do this. Tell let's let's start back a little bit about your journey. How did you get into um, manifestation and, and teaching people and coaching people about this? Yes. Yeah, so I first got um, introduced to the law of attraction through the Secret, which uh, many people may have. The Secret is a movie that talked about the law of attraction in which um, the law of attraction is what we think, whether positive or negative is what we attract into our lives, essentially is what the belief is. And so in 2015, I was working at a call center. I was making maybe $30,000 a year. And I took my refund check and I took a portion of it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to hire a life purpose coach and a business coach. And so I hired a coach and she, the very first thing we did is we got clear on what I wanted. What is it, Jerrica, that you really want for yourself? Mm -hmm. What are the goals and aspirations you have? And then she had me write about that as if it already happened, as if it was my present reality. And I'll tell you, three years later, what happened is over 70% of the stuff that I wrote about on that list came into fruition. I got engaged to a really great guy about three years later. I um, got a great promotion and got my dream job living in my dream location in Orlando, Florida from Dallas, Texas, making more money than I've ever made. I was able to coach um, and mentor young girls, which is something I, I wrote about wanting to do. Mm. Uh, bought my dream house that I'm in. I mean, just so many different things happened and it all came from me being super clear on what I wanted mm -hmm. and more importantly, who I wanted to become. And so as I realized the power of being mm -hmm. intentional, cause we're, we're manifesting all the time. We are subconsciously manifesting things that we see reflected in our world all the time based on our beliefs, our thoughts, our assumptions, all of that is reflected back to us. And so what I did is I became more intentional about it. And I decided that, you know what, more people need to know about the power of using your thoughts and your beliefs and your emotions and being clear mm -hmm. on who you want to be and what your goals are to actually materialize that into your life. And so that started me on this journey of women's empowerment and really um, working with women entrepreneurs and spiritual development seekers to teach them my signature method mm -hmm. of how to use the power of your imagination to make your goals and dreams a reality. And what if, what if 
that negativity creeps into your mind though and creeps into your spirit and your being and you can't shake it what do you do yeah so there are a lot of different tools that i teach but the most important thing is to realize that you can't lose that life is going to be set up mm. for you to win that life is working for you in your favor and there are a number of uh, things that you can do to shift that negative belief and it's number one going back to your visualization that you have of seeing yourself achieving that goal it could look like walking outside getting some fresh air it could look like going to a comedy show like a lot of times we're having these negative feelings because we're looking at our physical world and we're like, it's not here, it's not here. And sometimes we need to just non-attach, like we need to drop our attachment to it because we're holding on too strong. And we need to just do something else and trust that the universe, that the, that the higher power is always working for our highest mm -hmm. and greatest good and all involved. And so what that looks like a lot of times is mm -hmm. just dropping it going to do something else, go do something fun. Hmm. Just, just don't think about it <laughs> yes. because it's going to work out in your go face. Go eat ice cream, go eat ice creamer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, tell, share with us there, you have a three-step manifestation method that we can all yes. practice. Take us through that. Okay. Yes. And before I do that, I would like to do a quick 60 second demonstration with you and your viewers on how um, our creative okay. power works. So we all have this creative power and I'm gonna show you how you can literally impact your physical environment just by the power of your words. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your hands up and if you're looking at your hands, you'll see that your hands have lines on them. Mm -hmm. And so what I want you to do is line up the lines on your hand where they're even. Okay, I want you to close it. Okay. And if you look at the top of your hand, you know, it can be pretty loose here, but for the most part, it should be even. Is it even for you? Yes, it is. Okay. So I want you to open your hands back up, choose a hand, doesn't matter which hand, and we're going to say grow bigger to the hand that you choose 20 times. Okay. So grow bigger, grow bigger, grow bigger, grow bigger, bigger grow bigger, grow bigger, grow bigger, bigger, grow bigger. This segment is sponsored by the Master Manifestors Academy. Again, okay. we're going to find the lines which are symmetrical on our hands. We're going to fold it together. Okay. And I want you to look at the top of your hand. Did your hand grow? Yes. Yes. It did. It Jerica. did. It did. <laughs> How did you do that? You can just shake it back off. <laughs> That shows you okay. the power. Welcome to the Matrix. <laughs> yes, so My we have goodness. the power. Huh? I'm sorry My goodness, it did. Yeah. I'm still, yes. I'm still doing the hand thing. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Yes. So tell, yes. <laughs> tell us, what is it that people usually come to you and, and want coaching about or want to talk to you about? Yeah, so let me um, back up and answer the question. You said, what was my three-step process that I teach for manifesting? Number one oh, yes. is awareness. Yes. <laughs> so number one is awareness. Um, there is a principle in business that says, uh -huh. what doesn't get measured does not get managed. And the same goes for our life. The same goes for our thoughts, our beliefs, our attitudes, our habits. And so the first thing is to notice, you know, life is always um, sending us messages and always trying to communicate with us. So I teach people to get consciously aware mm -hmm. of what's going on in their life. What do they notice about their thoughts, their inner conversations, and just seeing where they are. The first thing is to see where am I? And then the second step is aspirations, getting clear on what your desires and goals are and understanding number one, what you want to experience and number two, who do you want to become? Right. And so number three, once we're aware, mm -hmm. once we know, know what we want, number three is that action piece. And there's two parts to that. Number one is the internal action that happens on the inside of us. That internal action is through vis visualizations. People do meditation, affirmations. Right. And what that looks like really is going to the end, basically seeing ourselves, not seeing uh -huh. what we want to achieve, 
achieve, but seeing from what we want to achieve and seeing mm -hmm. that already being our present reality in our imagination when we visualize it. Uh -huh. And then number two is the inspired right. action, right? Whenever we get an intuitive nudge to call this person or look at this website or go here or go there, we follow those intuitive nudges. It's super simple what I teach. There's uh -huh. also some you know pieces and techniques that go into it, but being aware of where you are, if you're uh -huh. saying you wanna be wealthy, are you speaking negatively about money? Are you managing your money? Number two, what is your goal with money? Buy a house, buy a car, pay off student loans. Right. Number three, see yourself already paying it off. See yourself already already celebrating the win. And that feeling is um, what Neville Goddard and Wayne Dyer talk about is assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Don't wait for that thing to happen in your mm -hmm. life to feel happy and to feel worthy. Feel that within your being now. That is super important. Perfect. Well, we're, we're, unfortunately, we're out of time, Jerica. I could talk with you for hours on end, but our viewers are going to want to know more information where they can find you and learn more. So share your website with them. Yes. So you can find me online. I'm on Instagram at, at Jerica Glasper. My website is www.jericaglasper.com. I also have a monthly manifesting coaching membership called the Master Manifestors Academy. That's at www.mastermanifestors with an O R S academy.com. And thank you so much for this interview. This was amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very inspirational, Jerrica. And I hope we can do this again. So thank you. Thank you for your time this morning. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. We'll be back, friends. Stay with us.